Hey guys. So, my name is Julius, I'm from Finland, and uh, I came here to uh, improve my programming skills. I used to work in the IT for about six years, but I was doing everything else but programming, so I wanted to learn more about the actual stuff that makes things happen in, uh, in my line of business. So, um, my app is called Apply, and it's made for keeping track of your job applications as an applicant to, let's say, 50 or 100 companies. And, uh, the problem here is staying organized when you're applying to lots and lots of different companies. And you might not remember that you even applied to some company and all of a sudden an HR person sends you an email and you don't even remember the guy or her. And uh, you might just want to see what's going on in your process at all times. And the solution for me is a tool for keeping all job applications in one place. And I wanted to provide a smooth user experience just to make it easy to add new leads to different companies and to update them when, you, when they're there. And also provide reminders for, for uh, leads you haven't been updating for a while, just that they don't, they don't get sour and you don't forget them forever to your, into the end of your email list. So uh, I'm gonna show the demo right now and afterwards if we have time, I can uh, talk a little more about the problems and such things I had. So here's the app, here's the front page. It uh, basically tells what the app does and I'm gonna log in. Let's uh, go, I'm gonna use the user I have or with which I have some data here. Okay, here we go. So here's the, the front page or the dashboard and uh, I put a lot of uh, different jobs here already. And this provides like an easy view for all the job applications you might have. Let's say you have a 50, have 50 job applications or just 10, they're all here. And uh, you can drag and drop things to two different columns. So here it updated the status to an interview status. And uh, you can also favorite things, like you can start them here. And they go to the top. So if you have different companies that are your favorites, you can always see them right here at the top, even though you have a hundred different cards here. And uh, what else do we have here? We have a search. Look, let's say uh, you've talked to a guy named Mark in a company called Ironhack. It filters out all the others, but because in, uh, in this lead, we have Mark Collado here as a lead contact, it shows that one. And when we go back, let's say we want to search for developer jobs, we have all the, all the development tasks here or the development uh, applications we have had. And if we go back, it's going to show all the others too. And when I create a new lead as a user like I, or um, a job applicant, I come over, I, I have my stuff here and I'll be talking to a new company and I, I want to add them up here. I press the plus button here. And let's say I've uh, applied for IBM and I changed the, um, the field and it brings up information from, uh, from Glassdoor, which is a, a website with information from, for about different companies and different jobs. So it uses the API, it's a public API, and you can get uh, the overall rating of the company from Glassdoor users and the CEO rating percentage here, 62% of people approve of the CEO. <laughs> and then there's also a featured review if somebody actually bothered to write a review into the Glassdoor website. And this is typical uh, form field val validation here. I'm just going to put the microphone away for a sec so that I can write everything down. And so you just input the mail and the contact person. I would say he's called John IBM. His job title is a developer. And the status is contacted. So here we also have a company logo URL which is brought from uh, Glassdoor so that you won't have to do it. And then you create it. It shows up here. You can uh, move it around. And there it is. Uh, the status is uh, reply received currently. So now we went to, uh, to an individual lead. Like we have two pages or two columns here. Uh, with the information about the lead and then we have the lead timeline to which you can include all the information that's relevant to your, your job search. 
So let's say you just write something manually here. Oops, sorry about that. So you can write stuff down. And you have here the date and what you did. And it shows that there's a little guy here that you did it. And uh, another thing what you can do is uh, I'm going to put this a little bit smaller here. So you can up upload, uh, upload stuff here or attachments and you can press save and it uploads it to Amazon S3 actually not into my local Heroku storage so that I won't have to pay lots of money to keep the app there and and uh, then it's available here for opening if you have your CV or whichever attachment you might want to put there and uh, one more thing here on the timeline is that you can send an email here straight to the timeline. So you press the button and it tells you like what information you should include in your email so that you can add it uh, to the timeline. There's a service called CloudMail and I'm using it forwards the email and to an API endpoint I'm using and then I handle the email in my back end. So I'm gonna send one email so you can see it works. So what we do is why we uh, take the email address and we take one of these you can see I've done a couple of them. And uh, we can forward it. We pop out the sending field. We put the address here. And the app also gives us the subject, which is not that user friendly, but it's, it works. <laughs> and uh, I add it as a subject here. And we can say, hello, Weirden. We are in a demo again. Then I send it, and I go back to the app and uh, refresh, and it shows up here, and it tells me that it's an email, and we have the email here formatted uh, with the new line formatting so that, <coughs> so that you see the chain here, and if you have previous emails, it's sh it shows like this in here on top of the other ones that I had here. And uh, what else do we have? We can also edit the lead here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a form. You can just write stuff down. You can see that it updates it uh, real time here. And right now we have an updated uh, lead for ourselves. And uh, yes, one more thing about the alarms. I told you about uh, that the app reminds you that if you have old leads. I'm going to update a couple of leads into the database so that their updated date is a couple of months back so that you can see the, the alarm functionality. So let's say so I'm putting this to to March. And if you bear with me now let's put this one here to uh, April. So now we're putting the, them straight to our production database and we can see that I'm getting an, a little nice alarm clock here that tells me that there's two, two things I need to uh, take care about or take care of. And if I click on it, I can see that I haven't been updating two leads in, okay, it says two weeks, I should put more than two weeks. But anyways, I have a Google and Instagram here, so if I update Google, where is it? It's here. So if I drag it here, it, the number goes down, it decrements because it's updating and the, the header component sees that something's happening here. And it emits a certain kind of uh, action that the header component sees. And also here in Instagram, let's say, stop bothering me. Oops. And we say save, and then it updates the header component again because we have updated our lead, and the updated date is again uh, very current or current, which we can see here as well. And yeah, I think I've gone through the basic functionalities here, what I got made in two weeks. And uh, oh, yeah, it's also. One more thing. It's also responsive, so if you want to use it with the phone, 
it works like this. Um, if you go to uh, a lead, it's, it looks like this. So basically, you can do the same stuff as well on mobile. And uh, let me change back to my uh, presentation. So what I did every day, I wrote a lot of things down. I uh, structured all the, the, uh, all the views as pictures first. They didn't look exactly like what I did, but it helped writing things down and making lists of what I have to do in order to get things ready. And I also did a lot of lists every day. Maybe I had a problem that uh, I, was, I couldn't solve, but I got, usually got them solved the next day. But at least I remember what I was doing last night, and then I came back, and usually it took a short time to solve it because in the, in the evening you're tired and when you come back in the morning you, you thought of it in the evening maybe a little more and, and during the night and then it's easy, easier to solve every, every time. And it's also helpful to drop processes down and see which function calls what and which component needs, a data, needs some data to render something and so forth. I also did a lot of comments like Mikhail and JB uh, by myself about, about half of your project apparently and, uh, and overthinking things is also dangerous. Like I thought, I, I tried uh, doing things a little more, more difficult than they were, or I, I thought that they would be more difficult than they were. So I usually try to first make, make things work, then make the code look nice and make, make the page look nice, and then optimize it. But I don't know how to optimize, so I didn't do that. But if you can, it's fine. You can do that as well. Make indexes and other things like that. I'm not very good at those. And uh, yeah, build for production and deploy often because usually you can have weird errors that happen only when you've deployed because you've, your code is minimized and uglified and all these JavaScript terms. And then you can run into surprises that you will only see when it's working in real world. And I use a component library to make things look nicer. Like the header is a component from a component library with uh, ready styles, and also the forms are ready-made. They had that nice swoosh thing when you wrote something on a, on a form input. But they can also lead to problems later. I could see that on a bigger project, maybe it would just be easier in the long run just to make things yourself and not use some library. But here, it was a good choice because I could quickly get going with uh, a nice-looking header, for example. Uh, that's my presentation. Thank you very much.